and we're here at uh, Siatek. And hi. So who hi. are you? Hi, I'm Naoya Monteji from Tatenaka Corporation. And uh, at Takenaka, you were doing a lot of you were doing work with Boston Dynamics with these awesome robots. You have some other robots going on here, and you have uh, the the mixed reality stuff. So, what does a uh, Takenaka company do? Um, we use uh, we do a lot of stuff. We use the uh, those robotics for the construction management. So, for example, uh, we collaborate with the Boston Dynamics, and we use part this robot. So this robot going around the, uh, the construction site and they take a picture and they check the, uh, check the construction status and work like a, uh, people who manage the construction. So do you build uh, technologies for factories? What is a... What uh, for is a for construction site. Construction site? Yes. So construction of buildings? Yes, for building site. All right. And you have automation of uh, moving... Uh, all kinds of stuff. So we are, um, our concept is not a fully automated construction, but we assist the, the, those robots, assist the uh, construction uh, manager and the construction workers for uh, their, um, so that they can, they can be conveniently uh, use those machines. What do you do with the mixed reality? So this one is the uh, mixed reality. Uh, we, can see, we can see here, uh, once you, if, you, if you look at this, uh, you, um, you can see which device, which which piece of the uh, which piece of the panel goes to where. So for this construction, um, see this panel. So this panel is um, originally designed and it has a, uh, hundreds of patterns in in one in single uh, in single construction like that one. So for yeah. What is this? What is this? So this one is the uh, EQ house. This one is the uh, collaboration with uh, Tatenaka, uh, Mercedes-Benz and Tatenaka Corporation. And uh, this house is showing the new the future, future living style of uh, mobility and the uh, house is integrated together. So what is this area? Is the house? The car. So here, this is the car. Uh, and the car is integrated in the. Uh, so you have the car parking here. Yeah, and the car is parked here. So this one is the mobility, mobility tube. So car goes into the house. So we can we can live together with the uh, vehicle. And this is the living tube where the uh, living living space is located. And what is the Society 5.0? Um, Society 5.0 is a. Uh, Integration of integration and utilization of many data uh, derived from the architecture and the, the buildings and the environment, and they use not only using that data for single use, but to, uh, utilize all the data into the uh, many kinds of stuff, and they make the uh, quality uh, make the living quality better. So that is the uh, society 5.0. What are you talking about here at, the, at your booth? Is this like a? a so here, he's presenting about the uh, robotics for the construction. So construction. Uh, so yeah. We we use many. Yeah. Use many what? We use many robots for the uh, construction site. So the, those robots are uh, designed to designed to assist the construction workers. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's go here. Uh, what is this demo? So this demo is the um, so the sensing response. So if you move uh, around, you can see in the uh, the, the projection, and you can see that it's an interaction with the uh, interaction between the human. Human behavior, human motion. And I can play with the balls. Yeah, and those graphics. So, this kind of art and the entertainment related yeah. with the, the environment and the human human motion. What does the wind do? So, sorry, I don't okay. know. Just cool. <laughs> cool air. All right. Uh, and, and these? So, this one is the control uh, here map. So, this one is the uh, visualizing the uh, activity of the uh, city and town environment. 
So you can see, uh, you can take the data from the uh, SNS or um, many sensors and uh, visualize and uh, read it for each data by big data, big data analysis. So you can check how busy the city is in any time you want. Yes, and also uh, what kind of people are interested in what kind of stuff in the city. And uh, what is this about? So this is the um, human motion and human flow analysis solution. So here, right now, we're showing the uh, real-time uh, human flow in this booth. See, see, the, see the graph. And uh, we, based on this monitoring, uh, we simulate and estimate how the uh, human flow is going to be in the future. So, so you, you know how many people will be here in half an hour? Yes. So right now in this booth, uh, 75, about like 75, 74 people are here now, and we estimate uh, 30 minutes. Uh, we estimate the whole day uh, how the human human flow gonna be. So 4,400. That's the uh, stim uh, that, that that is the cumulative number of people who visited in this four days. How do you measure? Do you have some cameras and something somewhere? Human sensor. Infrared sensor? Yeah. So infrared we use the infrared sensor because just moment. So we use infrared sensor because the, uh, if we if we use camera, uh, camera will identify the who is it. But the, uh, for the uh, for the personal data security, uh, we don't want to take the uh, we don't want to identify who it is. So we use the instead of that we use the uh, infrared sensor so that we can, we don't need to identify the human uh, personal data. But uh, we need we need to know only the uh, human behavior. And uh, this and this. So this one is the. This one is the uh, showing the, our solution for uh, building automation security. So building automation is the system in the building uh, which control the building system. So, however, the building system are sometimes very vulnerable for the uh, security attack. So we are uh, creating the cons uh, consulting solution for checking how the vulnerable is the uh, VA security system is, and we also we we provide the solution for. Uh, make the make the security higher. Security system uh, like IT or yes, IT system in the building. <laughs> in so the building, building system are fully automated now, and also it's all integrated in many systems. So, however, the VA systems are originally designed only for building system. So, even though right now it's fully automated and fully IT, IT uh, inter networked, but uh, sometimes the network security is very vulnerable. So, we are checking the uh, network security of the building system. Nice. What is this? So, this is the. Um, this is the uh, virtual reality, virtual reality inside the, the office so right now. This is showing the virtual reality inside of the office, and you can see, you can feel the how the uh, earthquake have when, when the earthquake happens, how the uh, the building inside will be, and you can see the difference between the resistance building to ato wa. We can feel the difference between the resistance building and the isolated building. How the uh, earthquake, uh, how the affects the building. Yes. But you need to input all the information about how the building was built, uh, all the materials, everything, right? Not not everything. It's only the how the building is height, height of the building, and height, the height, and the, how the uh, how big the walls are, kind of structure. What, what, kind kind of structure? Of structure? what kind of structure and the height of the building and the height of the height of the floor that you, you want to simulate? And also, this one is showing the. Uh, can you show that? Uh, show that video of the Taishin, the resistance building. So now you see the uh, resistance resistant building when the earthquake happens. Whoa. See, all the all the furniture, bookshelves goes down. Whoa. You don't want to can be sitting the, next to the bookshelf. No way. Can you, can you show the isolated building? Isolated building is 
the building itself is isolated with the uh, shock and the uh, isolated the rubber bearing. So see, see here, it's the same same size, same uh, same kind of earthquake happened. However, it's very stable. So you can see the um, you can see the effect of the isolation isolated building. So here, um, not only sh not only watching the watching the video simulation, but you can feel with the uh, virtual reality. So that's the idea of this system. Uh, okay. And uh, so this, this one, CO2. Yeah, this one. Uh, we are we are providing a solution for uh, reducing CO2 emission and the uh, emergency emergency operation, emergency power supply, and for. Uh, demand response budget budget power plant. So we do we manage all those uh, on-site renewable energies and on-site uh, distributed generation to for the uh, isolated operation emergency power supply for the building integrated with all those things including the electric vehicle and also on the normal uh, in the uh, ordinary normal time, we use it for the demand response, which react the uh, the building react the uh, grid situation when the grid situation grid power is getting uh, getting very high, and uh, when the grid uh, electric power generation has a shortage, then uh, the the building itself building side will reduce the electricity usage responding to the grid situation. And right now we are creating the fully automated system which uh, getting the signal from the power grid and fully autom automatically respond by integrating all those uh, renewable Is that a smart system. grid? Yes, it's a smart grid. Smart yeah. grid. Is it already deployed or is it under development? Um, partially deployed, but uh, not fully deployed. Comparing to, of course, in the United States and the European countries, it's fully deployed for many years. But now, Japan is catching up with that. There's already a smart grid in the US? Yes. And in Europe? Yes. But uh, you want to have renewables, right? Wind power, solar power, all this? Yeah. So in Japan, the renewable, renewable installation in a grid is still very lower than uh, European countries. So, like, however, it's, it's getting increasing right now in Japan. And in some area, like a Kyushu area, is nearly the same, same amount of uh, same part, same portion of the renewable energies that are installed in like a, uh, European countries. Which which area? Kyushu area. But which Ky one? Kyushu. Kyushu. How far is this? Uh, Kyushu is the uh, southeastern side of southeastern uh, island side. There's a lot of wind there, maybe or good um, sun. They solar? are. Uh, they have a lot of solar power, and also they are right now installing many winds for the including the. Uh, Offshore wind too, and in the and um, you want to have batteries or energy storage kind of on the yes. smart grid also. What is going to be the battery solution? Um, we use the so we use batteries for emergency power supply and also the um, balancing balancing the power grid. Situation. Just very big lithium ion batteries or different oh, the, kind of battery the, technology. Right now we are using the lithium ion batteries yeah. main, mainly and this one is the for here this on this side this one is using the reu uh, reuse battery from the electric vehicle nice so how many electric vehicles in japan um a few many more than a million many many i i i cannot i cannot, okay. I cannot answer that on my head so um the company Tak takenaka yes. is uh, just operating in japan or is exporting this technology oh um we do have the operation in all over the world so we do have the uh, european branch and the asian branch as well so and what is a is it a big company doing a lot of I it stuff we are a construction company so basically we built a, uh, we design and architect we design architecture and we build a con we build the building and the factories and the residential buildings so you work with the architects yes we do have uh, many architects and the engineers and you work with architects from all over the world yes we do you work with Bjarke Ingels and the Danish guy but you might work on projects in Europe and anywhere yes we do all right. so right now we have the big European branches and the we also have the branch in the United States, and uh, right now we're getting more and more 
project in Asian countries. Singapore, are you one of the leading uh, construction companies? Uh, yeah, we are the we are one of the one of the leading construction company in Japan. Right. 